Today's challenge is all about calculating the average corporation time for employees who are still with the company as of August 16th, 2024. Ready? Let's jump right in. We'll start with filtering the leave date column to focus on those who are still employed. Simple, right? All we need are the rows where the leave date column has a hyphen. Now let's group the data by employee levels. So click on group by, select the level column, but here is a twist. We won't use any of the default operations from the dropdown, instead we'll work some magic in the formula bar. Here is where things get fun. Let's calculate the average corporation time. First rename your new column to average corporation time. Then in the formula bar we'll use the duration days function. In the formula bar type duration days, open the bracket, hash date time, open the next bracket, 2024, 8, 16, 000, minus list average, open the bracket, employee date, close all the brackets. As this calculates the average number of days employees have worked, based on the date we are given, August 16th, 2024. Ok, we've got the average in days, but we need it in months. Here is a quick trick. Divide the total days by 365 to get the numbers of years. Then multiply by 12 to get months. Simple, right? So your final formula will look like this. Boom! And that's it. You've just grouped by level and calculated the average cooperation times for current employees. If this challenge felt a bit tricky, don't worry, it's all part of the process. Keep practicing, see you in the next one.